Grain crate. Finally, we got a grain crate. We got all of the... Oh, my God. That's actually quite good. Unholy hematology. I mean, this would technically be the right thing for unholy, I guess. Just sucks that uh, it, 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 it loses durability if you play spells, I heard. Kind of seems weird. Let's try an unholy deck. See if we can't get a good unholy thing going. Uh, we haven't, like, Marogar seems pretty good in, in duels a few times now. Like, we've had people play Marogar against us where it was like, yeah, okay, that was a great turn. I'm not so sure the Scourge feels as good. There's just so many random undead in the pool and a lot of them are bad. I'm gonna put it in for now, but I think that might end up getting cut. I could really see us cutting that, I gotta say. We saw our opponent running in the meat grind. This card felt good when they played it against us. I was not as high on that one before, but might run it now. Is that the package? Is that the play? Unholy Frenzy seems kind of cool. I think I'll, I'll I think I'll keep the Scourge, honestly. It's just so fun. It's really slow, though, man. It's so slow. I don't think I can. We've played the Scourge plenty. I, I, I think it's too slow. I need more early game. Yeah, it is true that we want to discount it. That is true. Maybe Scourge is good with a discount, actually. Yeah, that's a good thought. Like, we're going to be discounting big stuff. Sometimes, anyway. Maybe it allows me to cheat it out sooner. What am I? Oh, it's not Martial Lich King. Uh, that's a good thought. The hero power does make it cheaper. Maybe it's good if it's six mana or something, right? Uh, do you guys like maybe cutting a ruby and swarm guard, but I really liked having taunt. Maybe, maybe graveyard shift. That's four corpses. Maybe it's the bone digger geist. I have some twos already. I have some ones. Maybe it's this guy. I don't know if a three, four is that exciting. It doesn't really go wide. I do like the idea of having this though. This could be draw three. Okay. Th th this is fine. Let's just go. It's not, it doesn't have to be that perfect. It does not have to be this perfect. <laughs> it's not like we're going to know what's right anyway. <laughs> this feels fine though. Super low viewership though. All right, body bagger on one is awesome. Arms dealer into graveyard shift is pretty cool. I don't think we arms dealer on one. That seems a little greedy. Plagued grain hero power. Now does this always discount one thing by three or does it, does it choose three different targets and discount them by one? I actually have no idea how this works. Maybe I'm playing both of these and hero power into the play grain next turn into a potential graveyard shift. It's a mix. Okay. That's actually probably a little better for us. This is deal one damage if it survives. I'm going to go ahead and coin. I'll find the answer. I want to get going quick here. Worst case, we can play grain hero power next turn. Can I hit the same target twice or does it always hit three distinct targets? Give reduce the cost of a card. I think you can hit the same target multiple times, right? It's going to fire off like three in independent discounts of random targets. Hey, Rhino, do you think the prime sub? All right, we could kill that guy. Give me, give me a plague strike off the top. Time to find out. Hit this twice, this once. Yeah, so it can definitely hit multiple targets. Okay, good to know. This is whenever you play a minion, so not the best graveyard shift card, but... Uh, Graveyard Shift is good if this guy lives, so that's nice. Oh. Does he does he get charge? He doesn't get charge. Nice. This is a little better together, I guess. Cool. Next turn, maybe it's still just Blightfang hero power though. I have three corpses, so getting Scourge discounted in particular is pretty cool. I will often be able to play the Great Sword anyway, so hero power, see what gets discounted and go. This discount here power seems good. Ugh. Rage Warrior is cool, at least. I'm excited to see a, a different build here. Guess that's going to hit the one, two, huh? Oh, order. Yes, thank you. Perfect. Yeah, this is a great Blight Fang, by the way. Uh, all right. I want to hit Great Sword, and I actually don't need to hit the Blight Fang. But my, oh, perfect, yeah. <laughs> Excellent, okay. Really nice. Guess we probably gotta kill the Anima Extractor, don't we? So annoying if we don't. Uh, 
I mean, it's annoying killing it too. It, you know, it gets a lot of buffs immediately, but... Uh, okay, so Blight Fangs got Reborn. That's cool. A little extra 3-1 on there is nice. Scourge getting discounted pretty quickly, and we could discount it again next turn more. Like, I could maybe play Tomb Guardians and try to isolate the Scourge down where it's like one of the only two cards in hand or something. We got a really cheap card. I guess I could make it the only card in hand. So that'd be sick. Thankfully here, this is a kind of board-based tempo battle that I think I'm going to be favored in most of the time. A little bit worried about burst damage and those buffs, but most of the time I think we'll be okay. I have some 2-2 taunts in here as, as well still. That's cool. Ooh, Plague Strike and Tomb Guardians, but I need the... I need the one mana for the hero power, so we'll probably just go Tomb Guardians here first. That seems fine. And then we'll hero power. Maybe the Plague Strike will still be playable, right? Oh yeah, this just uses durability even though it doesn't. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Kind of crazy to see. I wonder if we start going phase or we tidy up one more time. You know what? I'm just going to hit this with my face and go face. Really nice board. So many Michael Jacksons on board. We've got six Michael Jacksons. Our opponent has zero. How can we lose? It's impossible. We have the Michael Jackson advantage. And Scourge for Reload if they somehow manage to clear all these Reborns, right? If this weapon sucks anyway, we might as well just use it as a uh, Life's Justice sometimes. It's truly really a thrilling turn. Wow. Oh, really? A thrilling turn. Draw a taunt minion and double its stats. Oh, I might be trading it a lot. Let's see how big that gets. I kind of want to run that with Lorthamar, guys. Remind me that that's a cool idea I want to do. Run that with Lorthamar. So Lorthamar and then double a taunt minion stats again. That sounds really fun. Uh, Scourge is a little bit crowded out here. I'm going to have three minions left over. So... Is that going to be worth it? Probably still worth it, but I could just go Necromancer for a turn or two and chill. Maybe wait for the big reload. Kind of sucks that I'm floating so much mana, though. What do you guys think? Is, is, is four random undead worth five mana? Yeah, it is. This is still... We want to win, Tempo. Let's just go. One big one would make this absolutely worth it, right? Two big ones would make this a home run. Uh, yeah, that's that's insane, yeah. Uh, I guess we can use this, make this thing zero. We're only gonna have two corpses left next turn. Oh, that ate three corpses, even though it could only discount this two, right? That's good to know. So it always spins up to three, even if there's not three to discount. It would. I would normally expect it to always spin up to three, but... Um, wasn't sure if it would only spin two, if it could only discount two, but I think we went from five to, to two, as I recall. Oh my god, that is large, but I just got this monster board to deal with it, thankfully. Oh my god, dude, the Silver Fury Stalwart. Jeez. What does it hit? I guess it hits here, but that gives me more death rattle activation, so that's kind of nice. Uh, we have six. Oh, oh, wait, can I just trade this in? Oh my god, yeah, it's their only minion. Or uh, maybe they're gonna get this back? No. Oh, dude, I just sap. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> we just sap and kill. That's kind of sad. Wait. Oh, wait, that's... Oh, that's not how that works. What card am I thinking of? Oh my god. What card am I thinking of? Isn't there a rogue card that does the other thing now? I'm losing my mind. Isn't there a rogue card that came along and just does what that does, but better? What was that card, guys? I'm losing my mind. What was that card? I gotta look it up. Oh, yes, it's this. The Socket Sapper. I was getting these confused. Return a random enemy minion to your opponent's hand. I got these confused. Socket Sapper. Oh, I see, I see. Um, okay, it shouldn't matter, though. We're still gonna kill them. I didn't mean to be him. Actually, no, it's not lethal, but it's really good. It's fine. I didn't mean to be him, sir. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was doing research. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be him. I uh, I got those confused. Uh, that card's much older, so much worse than Socket Sapper. And even Socket Sapper is not very good somehow, right? <sighs> yeah, that's an old Doom card, man. Even Socket Sapper's old now. My God. I got. Oh, I did. I actually did miss Lethal though, right? Because I had two attack left over. I bounced a two drop. 
I did miss lethal because of that. But I didn't mean to be him, sir. Bootstrap Bunkaneer. Now that that's an even different card. That's a that's a hand based effect, right? Or combo effect, I mean. Yeah, that's that's more like a combo. Put on the bottom of the deck. I mean truly we're fine here, right? Five mana left. Thorbalor didn't seem to activate last turn. I doubt it does this turn. Yeah, we're fine. I totally BM'd. No, I don't think Sapper got played ever. No, I don't remember if Sapper that uh, it's an old card and <laughs> like that effect just doesn't seem to be very good apparently. Ooh, the cadaver collector. Man, that's exciting because it's new, but I do not think it's better than cannibalism in our deck. Cannibalism's absolutely obscene in this deck. Like <laughs> cannibalism's like perfect for us. I, I want to play the new stuff, sure, but this is too gross. This is like absolutely bonkers. Just constant wide board threats just buffing each other seems dreamy. So sadly, we'll have to do this another time, but not for this deck. Um, there's the follow-ups we talked about a little bit. That's nice. Scourge, not really it here. I think this is it. Play Grain's really good for our hero power, so. Let's do this. How do I feel about Buckets now? I still haven't really played enough. I, I don't mind it, but I've only been playing Death Knight, so I don't know. I, I'm curious what people think. I've heard a fair bit of negative sentiment because people who want like crazy high powered decks aren't getting them as much, but I'm surprised to hear that. I feel like I get even more high powered decks. I mean, maybe that's just the Death Knight effect because it's only got like a limited pool of cards, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is okay. Not perfect, but Paladin doesn't usually kill the Arm Stealer on one. We might get a good setup. Sadly, the Necrotic Mortician is not actually an undead though, nor is the Blight Fang. Maybe we'll have to trade this in to activate the Mortician, who knows. Could live till turn three if they don't play anything. Uh, yeah, I don't have to trade into that, so... Joke's on you. I think we'll just tempo the two, three. Righteous Reserves, you know, you don't want that going too gross. They might get an extra uh, Divine Shield, but that's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll try to play in the Graveyard Shift buffs on the uh, Arms Dealer here. Perhaps should have put this to the left, because I think it's... Pretty likely I trade in the arms dealer, and if I do, I'm not going to buff anything except the mortician, huh? Is this actually a, a blight fang turn, though, maybe? The graveyard shift buffs here don't feel great against this particular board. The two attack kind of does, but I'm going to kill the Anoyotron if I play it. Blight fang, I mean, they can go wide, but if we're killing off a minion, it's not going to be that much wider. I actually think we just do this. It's a little less fancy, but it's pretty nice. And I can control my positioning better for cannibalism here, which is cool. It just interacts with this board pretty well. I don't think the buffs were worth much there on the arm stealer at the end of all that. This feels better to me. So yeah, hero powering soon will feel good, but we want a graveyard shift, I guess. Or well, we need, we need corpses right now. So got to trade in at least a little, I guess. Yeah, man, that's awkward to kill, isn't it? Boy, oh boy. Awkward numbers everywhere, huh? Uh, we're getting a taunt back, so I think this is fine. Just buff stuff. Two corpses here seems still worth it, right? This thing does need three corpses, but this board's gonna give me corpses. I'm not worried about getting corpses here. Still a two mana, one mana to get two mana back seems, seems good. All right, so monster board again. These uh, taunts rolling out to the right is breaking my cannibalism a little bit, but still quite happy to have the cannibalism here, I think. Still quite good. Uh, so we can like trade, trade, maybe just go, f oh, that's annoying. That's a bad shape for us. Really annoying shape for us. They are getting some crazy, oh, I could have played a minion first, I'm stupid. Oh shoot, ignore me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, I'm a monster! I would love a, uh, a plague strike. Do I trade in a 5-1 here just to clean up a minion? I mean, I, I get, you know, kind of get like 2-1 back immediately on the buffs. I don't think it really changes much. There's two taunts on the back end. I mean, it's a target to get a divine shield, but they can control that. Um, I'm gonna wait. 5-1 could hit something pretty big, and I think there's a g decent chance it doesn't die to a return hit or anything, because there's two taunt bodies here, so it makes their life hard. And then I have 1-1s one to trade in better later. 
with the taunt in the middle oh my god cannibalism dude you always make my life so hard i have to concentrate stop it cannibalism i don't, don't want to try stop making me try cannibalism uh so we can like hit here i don't know if any of this sequencing really matters too much but this is how we're gonna do it so this did matter as a minion, by the way. Really nice. <sighs> is this going face or trading into draw? Maybe I'm just playing an army of the dead, actually. I'm just going face for a billion. It's only making four dudes, but that's that's honestly plenty. I guess I could do this first. Well, it's only making four dudes anyway because the board's full. So same, same difference, I guess. Maybe I should have started sooner with these. I don't know. I don't know. Just don't worry about it. We're doing good. I'm not gonna stress too much about it. Taunt's in the middle now, I'm a genius. <laughs> Could've maybe, well, I had to clear minions to make board space, so no, I couldn't have really done that sooner. That works out fine, that's just fine. Okay, so good board. Uh, susceptible to AoE, but that's not something I typically see a lot in these decks. We are finally a cannibal death knight, by the way. This is something we used to talk about all the time, being a cannibal death knight, and now it's really happened. <laughs> It's a real, an unholy cannibal death knight. It's the, we're finally living our dream fantasy. Uh, no worries, uh, Gohan man. Have a good one, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Hunter's insider, maybe just card draw. We we do keep having pretty small hands. Let's grab some card draw. I like the pure cold, some lethality, but I think we'll have plenty of that with cannibalism. That should not really be a check on us at all. Sometimes late though, we might need reloads and might need value. I think I think I wouldn't mind getting something like a Frostmourne in my deck. Just to again, have some some depth. Like this has more depth. This is like, you know, getting more stuff for one card. This is getting stuff. And this is a big card. This has some crazy finishing potential with Grave Strength, but I already have that with Cannibalism, right? I think we need some more big stuff. So, and, and Discoverer too is helpful. As, as, we're, as we're shifting later into this run, resources become more and more of a check on our power level. The Neruian Swarm Guard's a pretty cool cannibalism card, isn't it? Definitely not a mulligan card, though. How is Death Knight Duels feeling? Um, it's sometimes good. Sometimes I feel like we're just losing, like, secret mages and stuff that... that, uh, have the perfect openers and blow us up, but... otherwise, okay. Whew. So, Blade Green does give me some nice potential discounts to get moving. Really have to hope the opponent doesn't have, like, Tome into some big 6-6 six, six early guy. We're on game three, so I don't know how likely they are to have really, really consistent stuff yet. Great opener, though. Do we tempo a 2-3? I don't think so. I think if there was nothing else to do, I think we'd just hero power here. Would love to find, you know, a battlefield necromancer or something, though. Yeah, Ymir's are not worth it. I mean, if this gets if either of these gets discounted enough, we will play them for sure. Well, again though, is it actually worth playing just for a tempo 2-3? No, I think we wait. Discovery might be too good. Let's see, what can a tempo card do though? It can actually disrupt a secret, like it can be a secret test, it can be a corpse, it can be a buff when they get Blessing of Kings off of their Book of Wonders. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna get Blessing of Kings off Book of Wonders and buff it, okay? <laughs> like any kind of buff they get, this has a, a an opportunity to take it. That's my logic, okay? Deal with it. Looks like it's gonna be a secret tester instead. Coin. I would hate to see the 4-3 here. Cured Tor Mage would be a crazy tempo play. Shadow casting for the tier two? Oh my god, shadow casting Marogar. Imagine. I guess it wouldn't be that good. You'd use all your corpses, huh? All right. Secret test. I'm willing to risk a counter spell here. It's not the end of the world if it whiffs, and I like these corpses for the Ymir Jar. Is this worth it for one to one? Yeah. Maybe. That is an early Frostmourne, man. Five mana. That's about where it would need to be to be played. <laughs> I think I saw Frostmourne pop into a couple of lists, but okay. This character looks kind of cool. I don't know why I like it. A really nice color scheme on that card. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? Nothing, huh? I guess we test an objection here? I'm not sure. 
Yeah. Wow. Nice. Uh, yeah, this doesn't actually currently have the, um, oh, I should have put that in the, oh, no, no, doesn't die. Never mind. It's not, not cannibalism. Uh, it doesn't have the corpses now, but what the heck else am I going to do? <laughs> it's fine. Depending on how all this rolls off, it could get the corpses before it dies. Oh, in fact, it will. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. That is a monster buff, by the way. Wow. Uh, I think I still Frostborn this. If it's Oasis ally... Wait, is this lethal? We have 15? Do I ever just go face and say screw it? No, that thing's too, too good against me, right? I want to hit this. I can still kill an Oasis ally, so... If I need to, but I'm not even sure I need to. Dude, this is gross. All right, I am like, I, I, this is still setting up a two turn lethal hit minus any uh, ice barriers. Oh, that's good for them. Man, this is gonna give me a three, three though. That's one off lethal. Have we really not tested counter spell yet? Seems wild. It kind of feels like ice barrier, right? For some reason. I think we burn this on the counter spell test, don't we? Looming presence giving me more cards feels more important and life too feels important. This being alive is not actually very intimidating. Because I'm going to potentially just win. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Mm, is it barrier? Not barrier. Okay. Just deciding, like, do we go for a body here or do we go for card draw? My only concern is we don't actually really have a lot of... Um, we don't have any direct damage in this deck, right? There's no way for me to deal direct damage. This weapon is it. So if I don't stick a board, I, I actually am in a little bit of a pickle. Like if they go barrier and I don't have a board, I don't don't win this. It's that simple. I, I need the board to beat barrier. Cold case, I do just beat with attack still. It shouldn't have any mana left, right? Yeah, we're fine. We know this is fine, yeah. Cool. Happy to be the secret mage. That was, we got blown out last time. So that felt way better, way, way better. Um, guys, I might take a, um, Ooh, I got I forgot we got to look at our things. Um, boy, greedy gains, huh? No, we have to play too many minions. I was going to say like, we do have some ways to summon stuff, graveyard shifts and everything, but we have to play too many. That's not going to be worth it. We're playing like at least half. So that can't be right. I might just take battle stance just to get some damage. We're kind of an aggro deck at our core. I don't think it's Vigor. That seems risky. I think it's Battle Stance, right? Battle Stance it is. I think we're gonna get a package. It got delivered at 9.30 at night. Okay, uh, what do we like? I don't know though, we need things to discount. We are spending our corpses a lot. So it's like, if you get an early Moragar, it's not that buffed. Probably take this. Cannibalism, uh, Possess Fire's nuts. Yeah. All right, great opener. We love the body bagger. I think we probably love uh, Chill Fallen Baron later, but for now I want Tempo. Deathbringer might not technically have enough corpses, but we'll try. Oh, we're getting too many of these grave strengths. Like I, I want some follow up, but cannibalism has solved that. We just need, we need more development primarily. Play Grain is awesome for uh, the Ymirjar. I think what we'll do is coin the Ymirjar, trust that it doesn't die, and then play Grain at the turn later. So that I don't mess up my curve. Because I don't think it'll die, right? Canshaw, are we about to get spit on, dude? Is this Hunter gonna spit me? He's a spitter. Let's see. Probably actually better off putting this to the right for any kind of summon effects like graveyard shift, huh? <sighs> Every time you learn something, I swear to God. It might die the running brittle bones. I might have removal spells. This may backfire, but just in case, we'll see. It's going to backfire. Dang. Sad. Sad day. We still got a buff, which is cool, but a little sad. Uh, Necromancer's good, though. Kindly grand, bro. Graveyard shift also better, I think. 
probably going face. I'm like kind of at risk at losing this board soon though. I'm nervous. Uh, they, they've gotten more tempo than I would want. I don't exactly have a ton of recovery. But only Frenzy can be cool, but... All right. Make these big boys for me, thank you. Don't hit my 3-1. Nice, face attack's good there. Oh, this is gonna get to attack? Maybe an explosive trap or something? I mean, I'm happy to test these secrets with an empty board because we're gonna have bigger boards later, you know? This is like perfect timing to test this. Yeah, freezing traps, no biggie. No biggie at all. This trap's totally fine too. Um, dang, I should have played this first. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I was hoping to get multiple things to do, but it was very unlikely to get get another card. Like play grain to play, you know. That's probably silly. All right, so we're just hitting two per turn. You know, we beat them in ten turns. That's all we got to do. Easy, uh, easy ten turn win. No big deal. Taking another three, sure. Light Fang here is nuts, but uh, do I like Unholy Frenzy maybe? Just to not lose the board too hard. Like I get another 2-2 two -two and another 3-3 three -three back. Just worried if I fall too far behind here, we're never going to get it back, so. Maybe we kill this too for once. Like getting another body here is really nice. Okay. Swarm guards are good too later. Hopefully that's one of their last like good boards. I'm hoping they don't have too many minions to develop. Ugh, so many secrets though, man. My God, Cobra too. Cobra is kind of annoying, isn't it? Extra two two here. Kind of makes hitting that three one feel nice again, doesn't it? It's also a decent turn for the swarm guard. The one five does eat one of them pretty easily, but uh, maybe we get a two two here. I don't know. There are some things in this prox as far as like extra value on board for them, but maybe not too bad. This is good against like snipe and stuff too, which is cool. Yeah, cat trick. Like we said, a little extra value on some stuff, but maybe not too crazy. All right, so now it's about enabling the Scourge, I guess. I don't know, we're a little behind. I wish we had more, more lethal push here. So many secrets, my God, dude. Tavish too, gross. Thoughts of the new buckets? I don't really know yet. Um, I've really only been playing Death Knight, so I'm not sure. In Death Knight, it seems to work pretty well because you just get all the, the good Death Knight cards you want. I think for other classes, it's probably way harder because they have bigger pools to pull from. But I still haven't tried it, so I don't know. Scourge might just come in too late here. Of course, very worried about navigating all of these secrets. Obviously, these are going to be a pain. Light Fang again on two minions? Um, yeah, actually, that seems okay. I, I don't know. Kind of depends on how all this rolls, I guess. All right, mostly face-based it seems. Oh, dang, really? No Scourge discount at all. Are you kidding me, dude? I didn't hit the Scourge one single freaking time. Is the plus three attack here relevant in the slightest? Test a spell-based secret like Ice Trap, I guess, is something. Can take nine to the face, I guess, is something. <laughs> it just protects a little better against this trade, I guess, is something. <laughs> the nine to the face kind of sucked, though, if I'm being honest. That wasn't so fun. Uh, I mean, it's kind of setting up lethal. You kind of have to assume explosive trap, though, and freezing trap are going to be a problem. I mean, we can play around freezing and hit for eight, but it's still, it's still not a lethal. <laughs> Let's test freeze. Well, I mean, is there any world where this isn't a freezing trap? Is there any world in the universe? I guess really it doesn't matter because if it's if it's not freezing, it could be wandering and bear, all of which stop lethal, in which case I think we need to hit the Leoc. 
This tests freezing and maybe clears the Leox sometimes too. It's not freezing. Okay. Explosive? Can I hit for explosive? This is this is eight. And I they have a they have a potential huffer button too, is the problem with the eight, right? I'll find the answer. I gotta hit here. It sucks, but I just have to. This is still susceptible to the huffer button, but can I ever get this to seven? Oh, nope. never lucky. Okay, taunts actually are amazing here. Stopping the weapon and a huffer. Yeah, taunts are actually the best possible. Again, I positioned wrong. I should have put this one one on the far right, but whatever. I'm not, <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that well. Just get over it. <laughs> like that's just not me now the problem is if it's ex improved explosive trap i still take three right and all these die can i ever beat that i have no ways to gain buffs right yeah i guess i just play that into scourge then though right and hope for taunts i could take five damage here effectively i have no way to buff these though so it doesn't really matter that's both i take five yeah <laughs> Oh no, that's a misdirection. Does that always hit me? No, 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 these are still alive. Okay, that's actually nice. But then the other explosives can go off. Yeah, okay. So I need Scourge into healing or... Could this, could this, could this actually be something that kills me? Could it be a wandering monster? Would that have already, that would have already triggered, right? Yeah, okay. We just, we just have to hit, we just have to hit a taunt and a heal or both, all of the above. No muncher, for instance, would be a great. No munch me, baby. That is a taunt. Is the taunt enough? Is the question. It does actually beat Huffer and Weapon Attack. Like does not beat King Crush, though. <laughs> Needed two taunts for that. Or a no muncher to heal. Actually, that, that a no muncher to heal would have been enough. Yeah, that would have been enough. Wow. Really close game. I, I don't know if there was a way to get around all that better than we did. Just kind of had to had to try. I think the problem is we kind of hit some weird turns in the mid game, like the grave strength and stuff. Oh, this is a tough call, dude. We love Canopic Jars for our deck, but we also love Book of the Dead because it's so much damage and we are killing it. It's going to be zero mana immediately. Book of the Dead's probably a little better for battle stance. Canopic Jars. My thought about Canopic Jars is if I have a board where I've got five mana and I've got like four things out that makes Canopic Jars really good, haven't I pretty much won the game already anyway? Is Canopic Jars really going to make a difference? Whereas Book of the Dead could be lethal. Yeah, tr yeah, really a, a great luxury of choice here because there's a lot of great choices. I kind of like Book of the Dead as a recovery, you know, like a reactive. We can, we, if we need to deal with the board, we can, but also lethal hit. I think I like the fact that it's flexible. Staff is only removal. Canopic is only follow-up. Book of the Dead can be both removal and follow-up. So I think that flexibility feels really nice. I like that. What a weird, uh, weird, awful set of buckets here we got. I mean, these undead are good for us, I guess. Alrighty. Uh, what a one drop here, really. Mortician, I just don't think is very good early. Let's try to hit some ones and twos, get this this opened up really quickly because this can be a deck that swarms hard. What in God's name is this hand? What I wouldn't give for a necrotic mortician right now. <laughs> wow, what a turn one, dude. I'm just looking like an idiot over here, honestly. I can't even attack face like I want. Man, what a god awful opener. I'm not taking, I cannot take 12 damage off this, right? By hitting it three times and expect to win the game. Maybe I have to, I don't, I don't know if I have a choice. This would make a top deck plague strike like god tier. <sighs> I don't know that we have a choice, right? Like we might just have to. <laughs> Possessifier, are you kidding me? Oh, actually, we'll just coin the weapon. This actually clears this in two. That's really nice. I take it back. This is fine. We're good. Swarm guard on this weapon is really good. So I got a gap turn to fill here. How did my hand go so bad? This might be one of the worst hands I could have manipulated together here. 
Dude, double Malkazar's imp. Are you kidding me? This guy's a bro. Well done, sir. I'm really gonna have to trust these reborn swarm guards to do some work. Okay, necro necrotic mortician's back. <laughs> Honestly, with 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 reborn, I think they're absolutely worth it. The important thing for me here is gonna be getting the swarm guard down next turn. That's six minions, so that'll be really nice. Well, okay, five minions, I guess. They are drawing a lot and you know, but they're not getting a lot more tempo again, at least. It's kind of a relief. Book of the Dead might help me recover here. Scourge is cool. We don't really need any more hits, so let's just get rid of these guys, of course. The three damage here was such an important difference, my god. That weapon, I think, might have kept me in the game. So obviously, this is, we're gonna silence off one of these reborn, of course. That's not awesome, but it's okay. They're gonna even silence off the little damage there. That's sad. Book of the Dead, though, almost done. Possessed Fire, in particular, gonna be completely bonkers. We, we gotta see what's in their hand. What's in their hand? What's in their hand? Archwitch Willow, Savage Ymirjar. I didn't really see much else. Oh, it shows us here. Malganus. Yeah, and Gnomish Army Knife. Okay, that's kind of cool. Possessive Fire here is insane. We're gonna just kill them. <laughs> like, they're gonna take a ton of damage. I don't love that they're drawing cards, but I love buffing my units, right? That's, that's really cool. So we're, we've kind of already equalized health now, which is very nice. Even if corpses start hero powering as well, hopefully they don't get like an AOE. This would, that would really suck if they got an AOE somehow. Oh, that could be uh, Malganus, I guess. Oh my God, not an AOE, but really bad. Oh my God. So honestly though, Book of the Dead here is really really nuts they've got high lord four dragon so this is uh unfortunately only 12. i have to trade in another dude that's okay definitely not trading in my face so that's not happening okay I mean, look, we've been in worse spots, honestly. Given given where we were, we've been in worse spots. I'm okay with where we're at. Don't hit the 6-3. Nice, that's the best menu to hit. Max buffage, cool. It's a lot of card draw, unfortunately. That's really good. They got some good one mana stuff here. Well, Gannis, I guess, is their best hit, uh, which isn't that scary. Not that stressed about a Malganus. I think we Scourge here, don't we? Marogar is a little small for me. I think I like Scourge better. Let's hit for a big seven again. Eight, whatever. Do need a taunt though. Would love a taunt. Scourge ever any good in duels? Oh, that's insane. This is great. We got card draw. We got two taunts. We got a Nerubian Unraveler to disrupt, and we got the Darkon to heal. Yes, this is the best Scourge we've had yet. Amazing. That's so good. That shouldn't be too problematic. Missed the, uh, the Thalnos, too. Wow, guys. Let's freaking go. Good Scourge. It's like maybe with that kind of hand, any Scourge might have done the job, unfortunately, but we, we take it. We're happy. That was a good one. Huh. Couple interesting choices here. The Curio is shockingly good for us. It's, um, you know, multiple minion type thing. But I kind of think Amalgamates is shockingly interesting for us, too. We could make one really gigantic dude with all these tiny little bodies. Is that actually useful, though? Guess if I really think about it, perhaps that's not all that useful, is it? Like, what are we using that for? It would still have pretty low health, ultimately. It would just have really high attack. <laughs> I, I think it's probably just Curio. Curio's, you know, we like corpses. We like undead. We like, I'm assuming the ghosts are undead. Be sad if they're not somehow undead. 
<sighs> Another Marogar. It's just not it. I, I really like this better. Corpse Ride's pretty good for us. Uh, uh, Swarm Guards are good. Like the Marogars, I don't know, man. We just don't have enough corpses usually. We're spending them too much. Meat Grinder, that's a fine risk. I'm willing to take. We like corpses for our discounts. So this is orange, but they're playing a you found one. Scarlet oh, deck. Traitor. All right, we got to be careful here with Mulligan. Last time it sucked, but I like Plague Strike a lot to give us reactivity. Banshee's certainly fine on one. Even if she doesn't buff anything, just happy to get a body. Uh, the hero pair here implies uh, some value. Swearing Presence also implies some value. This might be a blood, like a value blood death knight, which, boy, it might be hard for us to get enough damage through against a blood death knight's AoE. We can do surprisingly high damage output because of cannibalism, of course. Uh, but it might be hard. We're just gonna have to see. Yeah, play a minion. Yes. No, that's not a minion. They did get. Th Wait, no, they got battle sand. Why am I thinking? What? Am I yeah, they have oh, the hero power. Yeah, I was thinking of that. Yeah. Battle stance. Uh, pretty intriguing. Anything here? I'm really happy to hit. I guess swarm guard would be okay. It's kind of free, maybe. Scourge is fine. Curio, Curio next turn's great. The creepy Curio. That's easy to kill, cool. Might just be an undead trigger for them though. Is this off the hero power? It was, that's a pretty good result for their hero power actually. This is a battle stance battle. Yes indeed, they are undead. I was worried they might not be coded even if they should be. You know, sometimes duels stuff falls in the cracks like that a little bit. Yeah, blood is hematurge, sure. So there we go, a little bloody. Nerubian feels good next turn. They're killing the outside minion. Smart, smart, smart. We'll probably put these in the middle, I guess? Makes sense to me, at least. I think we go face. We need to create some outs here. We have a pretty high pressure hand with the Book of the Dead. Um, if we can get a good cannibalism turn, we're gonna go nuts. All right. Man, they're spending a lot of mana hero powers. I think we're happy about that because the average card quality of the hero power is low and the average tempo of the hero power is super low, which gives me time to create pressure, create damage, etc. How is duels right now? I haven't played enough yet to be an authoritative opinion. I'm frozen. Crap. Duels right now is broken. Something is broken. You guys are all effing, but it looks fine. You guys are effing me. Why are you guys effing? I don't... <laughs> you guys are all effing, but I don't... The stream looks okay. I'm not sure what's happening. The stream looked fine. I'm not I'm not sure what, what's going on with the effing here. You guys are effing jerks with all this effing. Yeah, refresh. I didn't even, it didn't even ever look like it bugged. I show zero dropped frames and it looked like it was up the whole time. I don't know. You didn't miss much. <laughs> I did have to reconnect Hearthstone real quick, but it was instant. So I'm not sure what was up. Oh, that's going to make those uh, remaining or the remaining taunt here. He's going to be fairly big, huh? Four attack, I guess. This also gives me the nice reload into Scourge, which we kind of wanted here. Oh, that's bad. That takes up a Scourge spot. I think we still do it, though. We just want to overwhelm right now into a Book of the Dead if we can. Might be able to find a lethal here. Who knows? Uh, okay. This could be worse. Getting uh, getting some cards back is nice. Couple decent bodies. This guy is certainly high friction. Pretty good Scourge again. Certainly seen a lot worse ones. Oh my God, double Blood Boil is absolutely murderously bad though. That has taunt. Oh man. 16 damage and seven is certainly not lethal yet. You think a Bone Guard Commander here is another, um, another way to get a big wide board, which is cool. That's kind of all I've got. <laughs> After that, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not looking great, is it? Uh, they're healing another six here. They have a third blood boil. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind, dude. I put this here because if they want to finish it off with an attack, that's the one that doesn't die to the blood boil organically. So it's a little harder for them. Maybe they don't have another way to kill it. Probably still have plenty of ways to kill it, but you can try at least. <sighs> maybe they're not planning to kill it because they played the 4-4 four four first, or maybe they're having to find a way to kill it with the 4-4, four four, which means I might get that death rattle upside. Might kill that 4-4 four four for me. That'd be cool. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. Asphyxiate. That kills the 4-4. Four four. Yeah, that's, that's kind of okay. 
Positioning does mean there that they're gonna kill off my two best threats, but again, I'm getting some nice buffs. Uh, this feels like lethal. Seven, eight, and seven. Uh, is it not though? Oh, it is. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice. Book of the Dead's been A+. Plus. Really glad we took Book of the Dead. Completely saving us here. Is that five wins or four? Five? Five or four? I don't know. DC, so it was gone. Yeah, that's going to be a no for me, please. That's going to be a no for me, bro. I don't know, man. I wish... I, I feel like... I do still feel like duels... You know, it feels like the uh, odd man out still a lot of ways. Still feels like Blizzard's not really... Like we got new stuff yes that's awesome of course like i love the new stuff a lot of bugs though you know they did already fix some stuff of course like it, we shouldn't complain too much but like more balance more more of that would feel good always more i think in particular more treasures we don't have many signature treasures we get a lot of new passives but we almost never get new signature treasures we did get the thimble guy this time which it's like the first new treasure in forever but i'd love to get like three or four at a time I don't know, maybe they're hard to implement for some reason. You kind of hate to see game modes developed and then not fully supported. I think Duels has been at least partially supported though, which is nice. <sighs> Honestly, yeah, this is a decent curve for us. Um, I, I think we just accept this. We have the, the risk of mulliganing into some absolute garbage as we've discovered. Uh, battle stance gives me answers to some of the early stuff this this warlock can make as we saw with the great sword before it can kill some important three health targets as well which is nice whoa lakari sacrifice mad respect that is sick yeah there's one of the three health targets does this deck just build like only unguro and karazhan is that all it does that would be my thought there's a lot of great Unguro and Karazhan discard stuff. Really happy to see that Plague Strike, by the way. This still gets us the Undead on one for the uh, Necrotic sometimes, but also, uh, yeah, this will be perfect. Yeah, trade, hit, Necrotic. Good stuff, good stuff. Don't want to fall behind too much early. Honestly, another Plague Strike seems great, yeah. Seems perfect. Good turn three, even. Nice to have some actual early game cards for once. Marogar getting discounted could be cool, but I'm wondering if we'll have enough corpses where if we discount and we spin the corpses, you know, there's a, this uh, negative interaction between these two. I know that one game we got up to like 15, 16 corpses, which is a decently sized Marogar, but not still not huge, I don't think. Yeah, we face tank four here to keep, keep a board advantage for sure. This is a decent grave strength next turn. Um, it's only plus one attack, but maybe okay. I'd probably still prefer to weapon or Emir's art. Weapon's probably better just to get the Emir's art in a good spot later, right? Revenant Rascal, I revealed that card. Do you guys remember that? That's my card reveal. Can you believe it? I think I want the corpses for the Ymirjar more than for my hero power, because none of these are really that good of payoffs yet. Yeah, I think we just wait. I mean, I, I could get up to five, obviously, and then I'd have, I'd, ha I'd have, if all three of these die, I have enough for this, but not for two of these. And I've, if it's got reborn, there's two of them, right? So, Walking Dead's pretty good. I can trade in a two-two here just to make sure that I have enough. Oh, now I need to do more than that. Uh, that guy's pretty good. Go three and three here now. Reach for the skies. That's fine. I guess we're not killing that three three. Are we super worried about it? I don't think so, right? Are we killing it? Maybe we are killing it. I don't know. We passed the buffs along. Yeah, whatever. I guess we kill it. Okay, good board. Really nice, sticky, reborn board. Good cannibalism buffs. Still have one weapon up if I want it, or I can hit stuff with it. Oh my god, they literally only have silver golems. My god. I might trade this in. It really gives its buff back, unless we protect the weapon one more time. Oh, they're done with the portal already. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. Wow, yeah, that's actually pretty annoying, isn't it? 
Oh, this is just a swarm guard go face turn though, because we got Book of the Dead soon. Yeah, this is fine. This is not quite five corpses, so I don't think that's the play. These all have reborn rights. It's just gross. It's really gross. <laughs> it's so gross. That's quite a top deck to get. What a final minion to get into that weapon, right? And they all have cannibalism hits too. It's just so gross. That just made me two things. Cool. Only one corpse left on that one over at the end, so they should kill that now. I only have two corpses, I mean. It's not enough. Um, so either Book of the Dead to like stabilize or Grave Strength just for like a super lethal probably should be fine here. I mean, I, I'm curious what they can do with all this mana in this turn, but hopefully nothing too crazy. So I'm tamering four cards. Let's see what they are. Baron stuff. Savage Humors are maybe. Nothing too scary there. Nothing too scary. Scavenger's not active yet. I mean, it's cheap anyway, so it could be a big taunt, but... Another buff, but that doesn't really matter at all. They're just gonna die. Like, there's too many, too many buffs, too many cannibalisms here. It's just, it's just impossible to kill enough. It's just every time you kill something, something else gets buffed for a billion. Uh, they killed this in the wrong order too, so now it's gonna give me another body. I had to kill that one first. Just impossible to deal with all this. And then we have the Book of the Dead to make it even worse. That is such a gross top deck to get there. They might have had a decent chance if I didn't hit that top deck. Would have still been a little awkward, I'm sure, but man, really nice. Oh man, old Militia Horn, huh? Theoretically, yeah, it's pretty good. Do we care more about Looming Presence, though? Just give me some more card draw again. Still a little light on card draw. Oh, it really does work on two? It provides the third corpse? Oh, that's interesting. So maybe they didn't, order didn't matter? Huh, okay, I believe you. Uh, old Militia Horn. Yeah, I like it, man. It's a good buff. I don't know. Like, do we do we need card draw off Looming Presence? We really haven't the last few games, but I could see a game where we need multiple waves of threats. But I'm going to take the horn. Um, Wow, what a weird little bucket. Uh, That's not it. It's definitely this. The meat grinders are good. We like corpses a lot. Yeah, I like how wide these go. Even if they're all three mana. Maybe we can get rid of the meat grinder and just rely on these. These are so good with cannibalism. It's a little hard sometimes to convert, like, oh, rewind that. Didn't I just get the exact same hand back? It just is in different order. Got the, got the other copies of the same cards, I think. Better rewind that. Is this hero power bugged? Uh, it's been working for us. I, I think uh, if you got, like, cards that reward spending corpses, maybe that's what you mean. I don't know if it's working then. All right. Uh, Amara could certainly be an issue, and that's a lot of life. So we could try to get there before Amara, or just keep overwhelming them with boards. Sand Troopers, ugh. Is it, is it a problem to take this two damage right now? Should I let the one ones kill it? I don't know. I sure hope that we're, we're not the ones that are on the back foot from a damage standpoint here. My god, I hope we're the ones who are going for for lethal hits and stuff soon. If they're the ones that are pushing the damage, I'm nervous. That seems like bad news. Another graveyard shift is fine. Oh, that's a, again, I'm gonna have to hit that, I think. Uh, we'll trust, I, I, I think it's fine. We'll trust. I trust that I'm gonna be the faster deck here. 26 is not a lot, but it's certainly not nothing. Uh, great sword into Nerubian is really really good I'm, I'm perhaps we should have uh, considered this instead i love going wide because of the, the the cannibalism buffs and we just get to go crazy with that and actually man this would be cool if somehow well i don't know if three of these died would that be good enough i'm not sure no, i don't think so uh but I, I guess we'll probably still go great sword of the ebon blade here is the moral of this story and set up for the nerubian next turn uh this is actually pretty fine too from a damage standpoint here uh of losing one damage here no matter what i do right but i can use this one fine all right they're uh they're healing a lot like a lot all right the rubian with the weapons nuts um uh, need a two mana play to fill maybe hero power could fix mana if they kill some stuff i like to see them hero powering that's okay 
Two for two is a trade I'll take. What are they at here, though? Four out of seven already. Jeez. I don't think we're doing 45 in time, right? Th that's already six out of seven. <laughs> no way we're doing 45 in time. Uh, all right. I, I feel like I can't just keep killing these forever. I have to go face at some point, but I I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to get an Amara done before I kill them, right? So it's like, do I really bother? And am I just going to die to Zyrella later is the question. Like, can I win before I get Zyrella to death, you know? I'm at 13. Oh my god, I'm at 13. I don't know if I can win before I get Zyrella. I don't know. Uh, that's an 8 mana play. The odds of them having it are not super high, but... Um, boy, I don't know. I don't know. This is... I'm, I'm taking too much damage. I'm being greedy. <laughs> I don't know uh because i'm not like i'm not gonna win yet uh, i don't know i think they just got our number here i i probably have to play grave strength here even without the corpses just to uh to make all these guys a little bit bigger right even just plus one attack here is good because i'm not i'm not getting four corpses back anytime soon i mean if they don't have it here we can deal 23 next turn I've got what, 9, 12, and 6 is 18, 20? No, I can't. I lied. <laughs> I can't. I would need stuff to trade into that doesn't heal them. Because I can trade up 2 for 2. Well, no, that still doesn't really change the math. The smallest thing I could trade is 2 attack, and that adds 2 attack. So I would need them to kill stuff. Like, I would need them to kill a few of my taunts, I guess. Graybows. Oh, no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Well. Okay. I did get healed a little bit by the way. Am I oh, I'm I'm super dead to Zyrella, right? They got six and six is 12. Oh, actually, if I stay above 12, I'm not super dead to Zyrella. Oh, interesting. I was going to face tank this, but now I'm thinking maybe it's better to do this, which might have messed up my math calculation a little bit. Not sure. Man, I'm like, it's still, it's still weirdly close to lethal. Is it lethal if I hit here? Six, 10, 16. No. Uh, Book of the Dead would have been lethal here. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I think they just play Amara here, so this damage is pointless, right? But what else am I gonna do? I have nothing. I, I don't want to hit those yet, so I'm just just wasting time, just hoping to keep this board into Amara and blow up next turn. <sighs> the Zyrell is not lethal though, which is important. So they just play Amara. If I kill this, right, I get the Grey Bows back. So killing this just seems pointless. Just hitting face for the sake of having something to target. Um. I'm not killing them through Amara. So how do I win? How do I win? Oaken summons as well. Cool, 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 cool. Infectious ghoul. It's kind of like my own gray bow, but mine doesn't have taunt. <laughs> so that's not good. Uh, how big is this guy? He's kind of big. I'm only going to get one guy if I trade in first, right? Six corpses. Is this worth the trouble? They're gonna get back their gray bows unless I trade off my 3 1 like suboptimally here. I think I could do this and make those each two so that maybe they can't kill this off yet. I don't know. Probably still can, but maybe. Who knows? And then we try to set up for the win next turn. Through Grey Bows or not. I don't know. Hopefully no Grey Bows, though. Like, imagine if they can't kill this somehow. How sick would that be? Pretty pretty tough spot to be in, though. Obviously. The path is clear. Even tougher spot to be in. Dang. Okay. Need Book of the Dead. Moon Touch lets them kill it off, too. Yeah, that sucks. It is both Grey Bows at once, though. So if I got a Book of the Dead here, we would just shred their whole board at once. Which would help me deal with the Grey Bows, right? 
Grave strength instead. So how in God's name do we sort this out? I don't think there's any answer, right? This doesn't have any like uh, silence effects, right? There's <laughs> no silence effects. Um, I, I have no idea what's right here. So I'm just gonna take that. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we need to do. Um, I guess we just have to kill the gray bows again. I, I don't know if I can take six or not here, to be honest. I need the gray bow to hit the seven seven. If it hits the other gray bow, we're just screwed, right? Like I don't have an out. Is that accurate? I don't know how this works. Okay, that's good. I made one curio. Is that worth it? No, it's not because this was going to make a dude anyway. Oh my god. I thought I had. Uh, well, I like shuffling it in, I guess, to be fair. Well, do I though? Because then I have uh, Book of the Dead, it's less likely. No, I take that back. So I'm dead to Zyrella because they just hit me for seven. Maybe I should have played a single swarm guard for a taunt. That's probably better, isn't it? No Zyrella, that's good news. That guy's fine. We got two more Grey Bows again. How on earth do I kill these Grey Bows, bro? How in God's name do I kill these Grey Bows? Moon touched for, for, oh man, they had 11 damage there. That's gross. I need Book of the Dead. Well, even now though, this is a problem for Book of the Dead, isn't it? Oh, come on, dude. No, that's game. That's, that does it. <laughs> that'll do her. Yeah, that'll do her. Yep, that'll do her. I mean, there's nothing here at all, right? There's no... Yeah, this don't matter. Uh, I mean, this is a ton of damage, but now they just have infinite gray bow. We had to find that Book of the Dead before the copies happened, or we just lose. Now, I mean, I guess if they all hit the Nazdormu, technically... Technically, we could do it, but it would be obscenely unlikely. Technically, if they all hit the Nas. <laughs> okay, that one hit the Nas. Can this one hit the Nas? Doesn't. Oh, that one has two in it, though. This one has to hit the Nas. Didn't hit the Nas. So, yeah, we're just right back to three Grey Bows again. That one hits the Nas. Yeah, almost, man. Almost. Good try, but... Uh... Yeah, I, revisiting this game, I still don't actually know how to win, is the thing. Like, how do I win? I still don't know. I still don't know the path to victory here, right? Well, they didn't go for a lethal, unless they have Zyrella. Maybe Scur can Scourge do anything here? Book of the Dead just gives them a million Grey Bows again, right? So that doesn't help. Uh, something that killed the 8-3 and then went for Book of the Dead would help. I mean, this would have to be the greatest scourge in the history of the universe. <laughs> it's like six Darkons or something, you know? <laughs> or I guess four would do the job, huh? Four would be enough. Uh, okay. Man, we got double spell weavers. That's wild. The chill fallen, the bone baron here. Let's go. <laughs> if you just summoned a taunt, he couldn't kill off his minions and you would have won? Um, I don't think so, right? Like, uh... What, what turn? We, we did that that one turn and he killed it off. Um, was there another turn it would have happened? I'm trying to think if there was another turn. Yeah, they've missed lethal like seven times. Yeah, they're just, they're BMing, which I'm hoping means I can like do something crazy. I don't know. Some kind of Book of the Dead shenanigan or something here. How many Great Bows are in this? Three in this, one in that. Okay, so this is not the turn. Uh... I have no card draw, unfortunately. They can trade in the eight one to make a bunch of gray bows, but I don't think any of this helps me is the problem. It doesn't really. Until I get a book of the dead, none of this is relevant at all. And even then, still not really relevant. But you know what? If they're gonna be him, I'm gonna play it out. We'll try. Corpses shouldn't really matter, right? But also they're kind of free. All right, man. So this gives them three gray bows back. Uh, if they, if I could, well, they're going to trade that in 100%. So 
Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Book of the Dead would unleash two additional Grey Bows. Could I get through two Grey Bows and win? Well, the, the two Grey Bows together means the one Grey Bow could get the other Grey Bow, so not necessarily no. Is that the first time in this entire game they've staking a claimed? <laughs> I feel like it is, right? I feel like we've never seen them staking a claim. Um, Ymir Jar is again just complete and utter garbage. Just completely useless. All right. Soon my entire hand will be free. Need them to kill this off and make all the Greybows come out at once. That's our only way to win. And when they need to be exactly seven health and I need to find exactly Book of the Dead. And then we, uh, then we, the, we shout from the heavens because, because the opponent hath beamed. They would need to make one thing big enough for this to hit it, for them to have the, uh, the, the play that I need. Or I would need to be able to snipe that behind damage somehow. Imagine if I got a Frostmourne and started making my own army of Greybows. <laughs> it's too late now. We'll die if we do that, but... It would be pretty cool. This only has one gray bow inside of it, but oh yeah, see that's well, okay, now this won't die. Oh my god, this is actually the magic lineup because I could kill all these gray bows without this dying. Oh my god, would that ever be lethal? 14 and 6? No, still not lethal, sadly, but well, Scourge Rager would break would give another two. Imagine if I hit the Book of the Dead here. This would be the magic sequence. Oh my god, why can't I hit the card? I would actually have lethal, I think. Book of the Dead would kill all these Grey Bows and this. They would go here, but it wouldn't die, right? They'd be at 19, and I would have 20 damage. Oh my god, if I'd hit Book of the Dead here, it was actually lethal. Because none of these have Grey Bows in them. Oh, why can't the universe let me punish one time? Oh, we just spell damage. No, you're right, it wouldn't be lethal. This is at 9. No! No, even that wouldn't have worked. Um, okay, well, I couldn't kill this off, of course, because then we wouldn't have enough damage. Um, obviously, they still have lethal, like they have every other turn for the last eight turns. I think actually for a while there, they didn't when I had a million taunts, but but um, I'm going to let them be him again. Maybe they'll just be him again, and I'll get Book of the Dead and win somehow. I don't know. If each of these went to seven, and this went to ten, and I had a board... We'd have it. Maybe they'll finally be bored here. They finally got bored. There you go. Behemoth. Cool. Again, Book of the Dead uh, wouldn't quite work. This needs to be a 10. Yeah, that won't work either now. Now we got more, more Grey Bows coming in. Hey, they found lethal. Good job, Kaiba. You did it. Dude, spell damage would have wrecked our only crazy plan. Okay, Tomb Guardians and Plague Strike are awesome. Blo this is better. Yeah, this is good. This is actually perfect. Uh, Ymir Jar is okay. Graveyard Shift's okay, but I like these a lot. Light Fang's not always perfect, but sometimes. Yeah, Grave is hard to beat without a wand. That's going to be a tough one to win. I'm curious if there were different lines in that game, but I don't know. I'm, I, I'm curious the turn I, I played the curio you said play a taunt I, I feel like that wouldn't have worked but I don't know why I mean didn't they have enough of minions to attack that like if I only played one taunt I just feel like it wouldn't have worked but I'd have to revisit it to know for sure all right is curio good enough I don't think it is these are pretty good though yeah, I, I know the Necro would have made a taunt. That's what I said. But what I'm saying is, would that have somehow won the game? I'm, I, I'm not understanding how they wouldn't have been able to kill off their minion with one taunt on board. I don't know when. Let me find the turn. You guys are talking about it a lot here, so let me find it. Where was that? Okay, is that the turn? Yeah. Oh, actually, you might be right. There's only one minion on board. Let's... let's. Oh, God, I got to play the real game. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There was only... Uh, there was only the one minion on board. Uh... Right here, the 7-7 seven, seven was isolated. So if I'd made the 1-2 taunt, I mean, it depends on what was in hand. Did we ever see that card? Because, you know, clearly if they could just clear the taunt with any any sort of thing, 
the plan would not have worked. Any any removal means the plan doesn't work. But yeah, if there was no removal, maybe. I, I don't know if we're ever gonna know what was in hand. It's trying to play one game and gonna lose this game while trying to look at the last game, right? We gotta, we gotta be careful here. I don't wanna throw this game for the last one. Uh, it might be a learning opportunity. I kind of just threw that curio in as a, just like, oh God, just make a play because we're running out of time and mana. But uh, I, don't, I don't know if we ever saw what that card was. Part of me thinks it was Zyrella the whole time and they were BMing, but I don't know. Wouldn't have been 100% because again, any removal would have fixed their problems, but it might have been a decent chance. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. I think it could have been a pretty decent chance. All right, I kind of just need to ignore minions for now and go face a lot, I think. Because I can't win this long against all this stuff, but I might be able to just race them down and get a Book of the Dead to finish kind of play. Old Militia Horn would be sick on this board, but I'm kind of hoping next turn it's also sick. Cheaper Book of the Dead might be fine too. Oh, I cost myself a 1-2 there. Dang. Again, same same thing as before. I'm missing my 1-2 taunts. I don't know if it's important or not. Is this guy have Rush? No, 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 just went Fury. The 5-1 certainly has Rush though. Okay, this is pretty good if I have a lot of leftover minions for this old Militia Horn. Oh, that stupid idiot sheep and the one three rush. What insane rolls, man. Those are both such sick rolls to get. Oh, wow. Absolutely gross. How much damage is this? I six, seven book of the dead's another sevens, 14. So we're not quite there yet. Scourge Rager can actually be a buff for two. It's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't think it was possible to make three spider taunts that turn. I think our board was too full for that particular outcome, right? Maybe. All right, we're just going to go face here and set off for the Book of the Dead. If it's not lethal, which I hope it is, then uh, it might still be. Oh, it is going to set up. Oh, actually. Wow. <laughs> the corpse, the, the Scourge Ranger. <laughs> The death set up the extra damage and the discount to make that an actual lethal. Now, I, I meant next turn and then boom, coin, coin. That's amazing, dude. That's actually a really sick little enabler for that. That's really cool. I'm going to go Royal Gift here. Creepy Curio, I don't think he's good enough on its own. This is a good way to like change our board from small and wide to big and tall, which I think is, is pretty handy. I think I like Possessifier a lot with Cannibalism. Rune forging is a little card draw, which is fine. Uh, leaving your taunts together. Um, yeah, maybe that too. Like that turn they killed off that 7-3. Yeah. I don't remember that being a choice, but if I could have maybe put a minion in between, that one I don't... I'd so far ago, I don't remember. I'd really have to check again. Let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to find that turn. That was eight years prior. Oh yeah, I put a Banshee to the left of the taunts. I could have put a Banshee to the middle of the taunts. To, to stagger them. Oh, that was because they had a moon-touched amulet. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of hard because any removal spell instead of an attack-based spell, they could have done the same thing. I guess we could have halved our chances there, though. Yeah, a couple opportunities, though. It's always good to review that stuff. Perhaps a couple opportunities. Stitched Giant. Um, now nah, let's look for better early game. This is a ghoul deck. They might actually have some Blightfang plays, right? That's fine. Uh, skeletal sidekick. Do we play that on one just to get a corpse for the necromancer? I think so, right? Greedy gains with this hero power seems gross. I think, I think a corpse here is really good. Greedy gains with this hero power is just a lot of dudes and a lot of trades. I will say it's probably not that good at like trading in to my stuff. My stuff's like small and might be awkward. It's kind of only like one extra damage if you think about it. Well, at least behind a minion, I guess. And that's something, but. 
Uh, yeah, we just have to build this, right? It's no real choice. So, okay. The Risen Ghoul. White Fang on one of these just doesn't feel good enough. I don't really want to trade in though. Oh, this is, th these are actually quite annoying, aren't they? They're more oppressive than I was expecting initially. Very annoying to deal with. All right, this gives me another one too, which is nice. I don't think I'm hitting this yet. I don't know, man. It's gonna just die off anyway if it hits the taunt. So, I mean, the new one could hit the taunt, of course. Them like value trading does make them more annoying. Literally all they're doing, the only thing they've done is press the button. <laughs> Nothing else is happening. <laughs> That's the only play they have, they just hit the button. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I guess we're gonna have to Blight Fang at some point because that's all we're getting. Uh, this would be nice if we hit the, I got, I got, I got Frostmourne and the other guy. I think we hero power here. If I could somehow get a Possessifier down to three, I'm like really pumped, aren't I? No such luck. Honestly, do we just double Blight Fang this? I mean, I, I have to imagine they're gonna have a wide board later, but we just haven't seen a single card played. So we have no idea. <laughs> they're not showing us any cards. Uh, <laughs> it's frustrating. <laughs> they just have a million cards in hand and I have no idea what they're doing. It's like, are you an unholy deck? Is Blightfang actually good? I don't know. If you're a blood deck, I could probably just tempo the Blightfangs. It's unclear. Wretched Tiller. Now that's not bad for three mana. I feel like they're maybe just better off hero powering almost there. That we certainly can live with. I can be very persuasive. Uh, I guess I'm probably hero powering this, right? As opposed to trading these in. Maybe not, though. I don't know. No, I like the buffs. Let's go. We're getting face. No, I'm not hitting these. By hero power, I mean face attack, obviously. You know what I mean. But they're down to 16, man. That's good. So I still don't know what their deck is. They played a Wretched Tiller, which tells me nothing. I don't know what blood type they are. Finally. Rune type, not blood type. <laughs> what blood type they are. Uh, Great Sword puts me at 3... And three, uh, they have seven corpses. So they're getting another taunt here. I'm just trying to think, is there any, any like actual lethals? Maybe if I just run the six, three in and then my face, I have seven, nine, 12. They're better math like here and here, but then I don't get as much roll off. It's still 13. I don't think I have any perfect math here, unfortunately. I think we just play for next turn a little bit then. Oh, that's actually gonna be a five-five, isn't it? I just realized it's it's already buffed. Yeah, that this is. I'm certainly glad we did this then. Definitely not a leap, but still a ton of damage and a good setup here. Two sticky minions makes this very frustrating for them. I think. All right. Um. Yeah, they don't have it. Cool. Okay, I, I I still don't know. I mean, I guess they played the Ymir Jar. That's a that's an unholy card. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess they were unholy. Finally, we found out they played one Death Knight card that entire game. Sanctum Spellbender. All right, no more please. It's fine. Honestly, um, yeah, we we could probably do a little better than this, but I kind of like the one two here just to be safe. Having a curve seems like the most important thing for us. Ultimately, is just having this curve. Play green might make skeletal sidekick uh, playable later. I do have the the battle stance here to keep up with some early minion pressure. I feel like I never hit my play green cards, which yeah, I got 45 cards in the deck. I get it, but it would be nice to hit one every once in a while. <laughs> it seems like we never hit them. So they had battle stance and what was it? Uh, oh, crystal gem. Okay. Well, I certainly prefer Cannibalism to Crystal Gem. It's way better. It's going to go to three, which is perfect for the Plague Strike. Now, my 2-2 does die, unfortunately, to their Battle Stance always. Which is a little less exciting. 
Yeah, I think I'm totally fine with that hitting my face instead of my minions. There's a lot of boards I have where that would be really good against me. That's kind of cool. Hand is already bad, though. Really bad hand. Can I hit, like, three plague grains in a row just to get a board back? Can I hit, uh... I don't know, man. What do I want here? Nothing good. Don't get a good discard. They always hit a good discard, it seems. Yeah, that one's good, but maybe not that good. It's not immediate, at least. It does mean they're gonna have endless waves of those later, though, which is a nightmare for me. As long as they're not free like they were that one time, though, I think we'll be okay. <sighs> just don't want to give up this much tempo. I would love if I could hit this guy three times. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, Find the answer. Stitch Giant. Uh, you guys said it does not work on my hero power. Yeah, you're right. It should be cheaper. You are correct. We have other cards that spend, of course, but that may be in hand a while. Glad we didn't run that in our deck. That would have felt pretty bad to trust the text and then get owned by it. Ghoul is not great alone, particularly with this weapon up. Arms dealer, meat grinder. It's actually not a buff target. Uh, I think we still play it though. I just want the dude. Wondering if I play this guy sidekick too. Having, having an extra set of bodies on board is pretty good for cannibalism and for the infectious ghouls and stuff of the world later. That said, this board is still so weak. I haven't gotten any of my good early openers. You know, we, we missed graveyard shifts. We missed all that cool stuff. This hand's bad. I didn't even drew... I remember I drew two cards. Imagine if I hadn't drawn two cards. My god. That'd be even more gross. Oh, just the chill suffocating shadows to finish it off. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Swarm Guard's a good draw. That's really one of my best cards. Alright. The Stitch Giant getting discounted the, the, the old-fashioned way with the hero power, not the way it's supposed to. That should be zero mana already. I've spent like a billion corpses. I really need some heavy-hitting draws, of course. I need like, you know, Scourge, Marogar maybe even. Frostmourne, honestly, just hit face for seven every turn could get me there. Not a jack lick. No, so many jack licks, dude. Endless jack licks make it hard to go face, you know? The silence is gone, so the infectious ghoul gets a little better. Still not always the best. Oh, oh the ghoul doesn't die, though. The ghoul doesn't die. I think we need to kill this. It heals six, which sucks, but. I, I just need a play, man. Oh, imagine if we hadn't gotten two cards drawn. <laughs> Remember, this was with our card draw. This is bad. If we don't hit that early strong opener, we just kind of fall over, it seems. It's a good time to figure that out on eight wins, though, to be honest. I'm cool with it now rather than, than earlier. These discard decks seem pretty good, by the way. We've we faced a few of these at, at higher win totals. They're working pretty well. Seems like they're hitting plenty of consistency with their discard package. The bone webs of the world. Oh, Zephyrus, huh? It, it, I guess he's just never active, maybe. Just tempoing him. Ymirja. Again, my dude doesn't die unless I trade him in first. Which I think is absolutely worth it, I guess. Uh... Okay, this could be a way to win the game, honestly. I have two of these cycling now. This guy's getting cheaper. So this summons a ghoul. When it does, like these ghouls, you know, we're in the gray bow world, it just doesn't have taunt. It would be way better if they had taunt, of course. Because without taunt, I'm the one activating them as opposed to the opponent. Right, if I could give them taunt, we'd be in hog heaven, gray bow heaven, but instead, just endless dudes is all. Another jack lick, oh god, there's just so many of those. They just heal so much over time. So gross. Because we're a deck that cares about going face really hard, you know? 
So in this dice, it does give me two bodies, which is really nice. Really, really nice. And they're taking quite a bit of damage off of it, too. Grain crate! Finally! We got a grain crate! And that thing discounted this a lot. We got all of the- Oh my god! Oh my god, did we just go face? We got all the grain crates. Do I make it the taunt? I think so, right? Oh. Oh, they're dead. Oh, it's just lethal. <laughs> Dude! What? They're just dead! I didn't know! I didn't know they were dead! Oh my god, what a steal! What an absolute steal! Yeah, we love Royal Gift, that's a great card. Oh my god. Oh uh, no. Dude! The three, the three things gave me lethal. I think technically I only needed two of them, because I think I had a face attack still for, for a final two damage, but... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> That game was looking really impossible. And then instant victory. Are you kidding? That's nuts. All right, we like these two. We like that a lot, actually. Yeah, that's good. Frostmore, I think, a little greedy early. If we can overwhelm first, I'd prefer to do that. Nine wins, guys. That's amazing, dude. Really amazing. All right, Book of Wonders. Did we play this guy earlier? Didn't we see a Book of Wonders uh, at least? Maybe that was a previous run, though. It could technically still be them. Good turn one. Good turn three. Good turn four. Good turn five. Five? Five, anybody? Not five? Okay. Whatever you say. Battle, battle, uh, battle dance, battle stance. You're good against the party poor, party pooper. The opponent just uninsulted Hearthstone. I wouldn't blame them, honestly. Wow, it's just tempoing this against the battle stance, huh? Okay, I hear you. Uh, this is really good on three into the turn four in a Rubian. So let's just do this. I don't want to play this after this because it actually eats a charge inadvertently. Yeah, the Rubians with Reborn, though, is really good. So the opponent is getting potentially a lot of resources, or no, a lot of discounts, which I guess I prefer that over resources, really. It's scary with Moonfire stuff, but Moonfire stuff's a little less scary at 40 health. And if we just get enough pressure going, we'll overwhelm them anyway. I don't give up three damage for one durability here because there's just not that many good targets to hit. These are both actually really good targets to hit for the record, but uh, I don't I don't want to lose damage outs. We need to kill the opponent. My stuff not dying is actually making me a little bit weaker. I need some of these one ones to die. I need to trade in. I need I need that stuff to go through. So give me six minions, five on the reborn would be nuts. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, let's go. Kimiha, Kimiha spider. I don't know what that means, but it sounds scary. I don't like spiders. All right, that's actually a pretty good target too, man. I may, I may actually end up regretting these attacks. I have two more. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have saved the durability. I don't know. I'm hitting a lot. A lot of my good targets are like spell or my good boards are spell based stuff. As you can see, I had two spells in hand, but I keep getting good, <laughs> good reborn targets. And I may want that last durability back later. I'm not sure. I guess it's fine. This is still really good. I, I actually need the opponent to play stuff or I need to hit like a grave strength or something to turn this board or maybe a uh, militia horn, something that makes this board more threatening. I don't think six damage is scary enough. I, uh, I need them to do something. This is a little scarier. Or I guess I could top deck a royal gift, right? That would also punish their inactivity here. That'd be nice. I played around six duels runs and still haven't been offered a Death Knight hero. Seriously? I've been getting super lucky on that, actually. We've gotten one almost every, uh, every run. No, I can't give up this damage for a idiot two-drop guy later. It's fine. This doesn't actually activate, but it's fine. Okay, they're 26. I have uh, 9 slash 11 damage every turn. So without follow-ups, they're still just chilling. And you're just like, well, I'll just tank all this damage. They're not killing me yet. As soon as they play a minion, they know I start scaling like crazy. So they're just probably chilling. 
Probably should have put this between the one ones because I can't trade in the back half of the one ones. There's really no reason for it to be here. They kill it anyway. It doesn't really matter. Oh my god. Okay. Royal gift. You're you're one turn late, bro. You're absolutely one turn late. Now they don't have corpses, so these are just the reborns that we have to deal with. Um. Which that's fine. What do I want to make big? I, I can take three, surely, right? Surely I can take three. I should have out a three, though. That's bad. Well, no, I guess I kill the threes and leave out some ones, don't I? Doesn't really matter. The important thing, I think, is just finishing on max minions here to make this as big and annoying as possible. Uh, what's the right target to hit for this? I guess it's probably this thing. Is that dying is more beneficial for me, right? Okay. Man, what an annoying sequence. <laughs> Look at this giant guy that can't hit face. <laughs> this is like one turn late on that royal gift. We would have just domed him. Uh, moonbeam to clear is a good sign. I have a lot of bodies to get through still, though. My face attacks help. That guy is big. Very big. Did these trade in for me? They shouldn't. It would be helpful if they did, though. I'd be super pumped if these traded in for me. Oh, they're going to trade in. Okay. That makes it easier for me because I need less attacks now to go face. That makes my life better. This is also potentially quite good now. Um, Army of the Dead, am I gonna have enough spots left? Yeah, actually, I can make enough spots left. Uh, is that good, though, is the question. I'm not sure about that. Is it lethal at all? How many? I need, uh, I can hit for two and then three. I need one more spot, really, right? Oh, no, I have face attack, too. Oh, I should have played this to the left. Well, I guess I didn't know I was going to get these, though, did I? I didn't know I was going to get these. It's still lethal, so it doesn't matter, but technically. Technically should have played those to the left in case if I had the super insane foresight that I was going to get the, uh, the swarm there. Cool. Good lethal spot. We domed him anyway. Them attacking gave me the lethal. They hadn't attacked, we wouldn't have had lethal. Yeah, we don't need those. Dude, 10 wins? Are you for real? This is crazy. This is a great run. Really good YouTube run. No, I didn't miss Hero Power Hunt now. I didn't want to lose my corpses for my dude that spins corpses. The Ymir Jar Deathbringer needs corpses to have the Hero Power active. I didn't want to lose it. Ah, oh, dude, Royal Gift has been so nuts for us. Is it really worth keeping in the mulligan though? Or is it something we need to top deck later? I'm gonna keep it. It's it's absolutely, absolutely nuts. Can you sing me happy birthday? I don't know. I never learned the words. Something like happy, happy birthday. Happy, how's it go? Happy birthday. Close enough? Okay, good, good, good. Sing it to him in Spanish. I think I used to know that actually. I think I used to could have done that. I, I can't now, but I think I used to could have. Capture flags, pretty annoying. Yeah, pretty gross. I think we'll keep a 2-2 out here, though. Try to stack up for this uh, royal gift. Happy to just face tank a little here and hope to get ahead some. Graveyard shift royal gift is pretty nice. If they go super wide, Blight Fang could be really cool here. Or maybe not even super wide. Maybe just like a couple dudes. Blight Fang might be worth it already. I think they're going to get bigger, though, right? Aren't they going to make more dudes... Can't I leverage this Blight Fang into more, I guess is what I mean. Like, they're going to value trade off. I'm going to Blight Fang and trade back in. I think that's likely. I mean, I don't want it to be another relic. These are getting too big too fast. <sighs> okay. Dude, all, they, they played three straight relic turns. Are you kidding me? This gets kind of annoying. And by kind of, I mean really annoying. After a while, this just gets really, really annoying.
Look at me actually finally learning how to sequence this stuff, guys. Am I a god or what? Like, am I actually a god of Hearthstone? I might be. I might be a god of Hearthstone. Ooh. Okay. This together is really nice. Um, somehow we're still in the game. I mean, I, if they have another relic, though, like, I'm just noping out, dude. No thank you. Four straight relic phantasms? Like, I will pass. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I guess there's some, an AoE would be worse, really. I, I guess I'd rather have a relic than some, like, some board sweep here. The blue mites certainly not too bad. It's big, it's scary, but it's not that bad. Um, presumably here we should have a, a good royal gift board. I would like to give royal gift to a taunt, but I also want to go face with it immediately, so I'm a little torn on how we want to do the royal gift here. Oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. Okay, perfect. Uh, I guess this is a little better than this guy for now. I can indeed do that. I think the Bibliomite just chills, right? I don't think we kill it. Could hit it for... Could hit it with face and attack here. I don't think so. We have a pretty annoying board here. If things go really disastrous, we can possess a fire to recover, but I mean, they're just at 12, so hopefully none of that matters. Five mana is not a lot to work with. Sinful Brand's cool, but <laughs> clearly not going to do it. <laughs> on its own, anyway. Just dumping the card to draw one more, trying to find some kind of answer here. I beam's really nice, but again, not actually gonna do it. Yeah. You're a smart, You're a smart one, huh? Well, I don't have a lot of relics of Phantasm, but by God, I got there. Dude, I can't believe we're at 11 wins of this deck. This is nuts. Uh, it's like, yeah, I want to go for 12. If we don't, I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. 11's amazing. Uh, Henchman, I need cards. Yeah, that's a free draw usually. I mean, I'm only gonna have one game for it, but usually a free draw. All right. Final boss, guys. Wow. I thought we were gonna lose it. That eight, that that warlock game where I top decked the unholy thingy. I thought that was our last shot. All right, this is a curve. I I think we have to take a curve. I don't know WTF I'm doing. Well, it's a mirror match. <laughs> It's a, it's a mirror match. Recycling is not good for us. That's scary. Uh, Banshee a little better than Armstealer, though. All right. If this dies, we're happy with Necromancer. If it doesn't die, what are we playing? I don't know. Probably not the Henchman yet, I don't think. So this is probably an unholy recycling deck, which seems like a really cool combo, by the way. I sort of wanted that, although cannibalism is obviously sort of the other side of that conversation, but it'd be cool to have an unholy recycling deck to stay alive forever. All right, so it is unholy. Triple, in fact. They have a minion to play here? Oh, they do. Wow. Oh, no, no. Rune forging. Okay. Graveyard shift would be nuts. I think we go ahead and tempo the necro. Um, not active yet, of course, no corpses quite yet, but, uh, just getting bodies down is really important. Graveyard Shift on three sounds awesome. Great sword later, not awesome, but maybe okay. Exerciser, I'm actually kind of chill with him just hitting and me getting buffs, I don't know. That's fine. Swarm Guard weapon is really amazing. Is it worth giving up the Graveyard Shift now? I think so. Am I gonna hold a durability this time or not? Like, is the one damage relevant? I don't know, last time I kind of regretted it. Let's attack first. I'm not sure. I made a big spiel about the damage mattering and then I regretted it, so we'll pivot this time. The problem is I'm playing a spell in the graveyard shift, so I'm gonna lose one durability off that anyway, but that's okay. Having only one minion out here is not ideal. Clearly we like when things are getting buffed. But pivoting into this, hopefully the Swarm Guards are just so overwhelming. It's six minions in one card. That seems to be just a, a recipe for insane success. We could wait till turn five if we were like giga greedy with the arms dealer, but I don't think we're giga greedy. I think we're not that greedy. Unless I just happen to find a perfect turn four play. Maybe like a, no, not even Tomb Guardians is good. No, we're not that greedy. Yeah, we go. And here we, I, I think, I think we still hit, uh, you know, like I said, we, there's, there's a total durability count to consider. We're not giving up three damage. 
Giving up one on the first turn, that feels a little better. But I can't give up three, I don't think. Okay, Tomb Guardians are annoying. They have just enough corpses, yeah. Oh, Tomb Guardians are annoying, he says. I don't have enough corpses, though. Maybe we go Army of the Dead, just push face, huh? Yeah, that's better. This will eat a durability, unfortunately, because this card's broken. But it's all right. This guy's going to get really big on the back of this. I only had three, huh? It works. It's good, but I'm a little sad. Did I just... Oh, I just screwed up. What did I do? What did I do? Why did I... I just missed a buff on this. I'm an idiot. It's supposed to be at four. Oh, crap. I like traded out of order. I don't know what I was thinking. I was probably like, oh, this is two damage, but I screwed up. I guess it doesn't matter. It, it gets silenced anyway. Okay. Mistake deleted. That's good. I like when my mistakes get deleted. Oh my God. Let's give this guy reborn. That's a good final target for us. Somehow I still don't have enough corpses. So this is probably the move. Let's make one big guy. Let's put the taunt in the middle, right? Should have put that taunt in the middle. Oh, God, it's so hard to keep track of all your freaking cannibalism positions. Stupid freaking game. Stop it. So you kind of expect the 8-10 to hit the 6-6 six, six if things go as expected. We don't expect them to have a lot of board clears, a triple and holy deck. I mean, they could have, like, you know, uh, of course, a uh, wand or something, obviously, but hopefully not too much board clear, at least. They are getting some great silences, though, I have to say. Double weapon here has been brutally good. Chillfall and Royal Gift seems awesome. Can't wait on the Royal Gift here. Just got to go. All right, down to six. I did miss. No, we didn't miss any damage. We decided. Never mind. The silence negated the, the, the miss. Good board reload next turn. Good board now. Um, that vampire it kept them alive here, it turns out. I think it does give them taunts. I was debating between these two targets, by the way. Like, they get to silence off the reborn or the, the buff effect. What do you guys think? Maybe the reborn's more valuable as a trade-in mechanism. He's going to silence off the blight thing, too, though. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. <laughs> like, he doesn't get the taunt. He gets one off this one. But, uh... Only well, yeah, that's fine with my attack. Um, yeah, one off, two off. Dang. Three freaking taunts, dude. Shoot. All this armor gain, too. That was a big turn from them, dude. A really big turn from them. That might be game, honestly. These, these... Oh my god, no. Not like this, dude. I'm gonna DC. Oh my god, no, not, no, not like this, dude. Okay. I think we're losing anyway, though. I don't see how we win this. Like, we're really far behind. I mean, I only gotta deal seven, but they're healing a billion, right? And they have all the cards and I have no cards. Uh, Book of the Dead, though, could maybe save me. Just out of resources. That was such a good turn with those silences, man. Is there a better way to play around all that stuff? I just don't know what it was. Their hero power did a lot of work, too. And it's going to again here. I mean, these targets are getting big buffs, but that hero power just healing them for two every turn, man. It's hard to get there. Good for them, by the way, though. I would rather the defensive uh, life gainy deck win over the uh, the hyper aggro deck, so I'm cool with it. This silence weapon, please make it go away. <laughs> like, please, God, it won't go away. He had two of them. He's gonna finish on hitting this thing. Um, he's at 13. I'm gonna have three damage on board. No, I'm not. I'm going to have two damage on board. No, my God, dude. I, even Book of the Dead here is just not enough. I need, like, Scourge or, like, something insanely big. I don't know. Light Fang's good, but it's, uh, it's again, a little, little slow, but it, it does pull me back into the game, honestly. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it helps. It definitely helps. Should have put that on the end. Okay. I mean, I need them to have a turn where they don't have a good reactionary turn, right? Where they, where they don't have a good play. I don't know if that's going to happen. Seems like they always kind of have good plays. And they're back up to 16 on top of it, which is annoying. Can they actually kill this guy last successfully? Well, I have my 2-2 taunts, so maybe not. The taunts really help here. I have 12, and 2 is 14. We're currently at 16. What's next? What's my top deck here? Oh, Possessifier is so gross. It's so much life. God dang it. It's like a million life. So does their their Blightfang Death Rattle goes off before mine, right? So I think I will get this guy back off the Blightfang trade here. Or not if they trade the one ones, but then I... I don't know, dude, they have so much armor. I love their deck. I love. I think their deck's so cool. Their, their Blight Fang goes off first, right? So I'm gonna get my dude. He gets the Death Rattle, right? Yeah, he does. Okay, nice. That's a little bit of a consolation, I'll say. Oh, God! Oh, you're like a turn late, bro. You're just a turn, like a turn or two late. I, I, I'm gonna wait on it, of course, because I can clear a board and get damage later. Right now, I'm just dealing damage, which isn't worth much. I need to top deck like Marogar or the Scourge. Is there Marogar small? It's spread out at least. These might just die mostly to Book of the Dead. Uh, not quite. Well, the 1313 is probably going to trade, right? So, oh no, smart heads up trade. Keep one of them big for Book. All right, Looming Presence is still pretty good. Play green and royal gift, bro. Do I need to kill the Marogar, or can I just, like, go face? I can't leave all this up, of course. There's, what, gonna be 20? Oh, man, I'm just dead, right? There's 33 left. I'm at 34, so hero power kills me. Yeah, we're dead. Dang, dude. Double check. This lives, this lives, and this lives. That's 24 and 9 is 33. Hero power is 34. Yeah, okay. In that case, we'll give him a fun, uh... We'll give him a fun, fun ending. Congrats on the 12. Maybe you do know W... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's for each mini I control, of course. <laughs> it doesn't even buff. I control zero minions. That's amazing. Oh, man. Maybe you do know WTF you're doing, man. GG. Hyper Blaster 2. My God. The weapon rolls, dude. Exerciser times two, right? And then Hyper Blaster? Actual god. All right, man. Unholy seems good. That was an unholy v unholy uh, battle, and it was the two sides of the coin, right? Cannibalism versus um, versus uh, recycling. We'd hit that. Uh, we'd hit that book of the dead one turn sooner. I think we might have got it, but otherwise. Man. Big pharma, big armor. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Okay, I'm going to call it quits, guys.